Hey guys, um, this is a uh, video response to Jessica Starr, the story witch, um, talking about a depth year. Um, Jessica had posted a video, and I'm going to put uh, the link in the description as well as the link to the article. Um, uh, describing what a depth year is. I thought it was an interesting idea and it got me uh, thinking about um, actually this year, 2018, and um, you know maybe how I would like to move forward into 2019. Um, so a depth year is, uh, you sh well, so basically um, the article is not very long and so um, I suggest you definitely check out the article, but the short of it is that it's uh, a year where you go into depth with an interest of yours. Um, and that a lot of us have a lot of projects where we start and then we don't finish them, we go on and we move on to the new shiny thing and the new thing. Um, and this is all about going back to those projects or, um, you know, maybe yeah, going back to those projects and going deeper instead of like wider because like I do a little of this and a little of that and a little of that but I don't really understand anything um, from each project uh, as well as I can because I don't stick with it. Um, and in the article he mentions um, that um, this is something you should do after your, you know, your job is settled, after you sort of figured out it sounded like your life was settled. You're not like you're. You have an income that's steady. You have a some sort of place. You're not searching. You're not maybe not in school, um, and um, so that part jumped out at me um, because um, my life is not yet settled. Um, I am still very much. Um, I'm 41. Um, and I haven't really found my career yet. Um, I've been looking for a really long time. Um, I found several interests, but um, as of yet, hadn't turned that into anything that uh, makes money um, in a way that supports me and also, um, you know, is, uh, I want a career that's very fulfilling on a personal level. Um, I want to do something that I really enjoy. Um, and I've just, right now, just been bounced around to various retail uh, jobs that are um, for low pay. Um, and then, of course, I um, <clears throat> have been dealing with some health issues that have sort of also held me back on that because when you are not feeling well um, it's difficult to work it's difficult to work and then go to school as well um, and to have any kind of focus um, so that ramble uh, brings me to um, what I think about for me what a depth year would work look like and actually um, due to um, my illness. Um, I actually had to stop working. Um, I had to, uh, I'm in uh, North Carolina and my parents live in Texas right now and I had to go to live with them in Texas and I basically got pulled out of my life. Um, new routine, new everything and my responsibilities were cut in, I had responsibilities of getting healthy um, going to yoga and going swimming with my parents and making sure that I ate and, um, you know, um, running and, um, just doing things that, um, are not stressful. And, um, so it was something that was really different than for my life previously, which was I was trying, I was working retail, um, it was very stressed, very miserable, um, and 
I was trying to do my Etsy business at the same time, um, and I had no no free time for anything. Um, even I worked even on my days off. Very unhealthy, um, and so it's no wonder that <clears throat> my health issues got worse. Um, my health issues are digestive in nature, um, and I basically have a severe taste of irritable bowel syndrome or IBS. Um, and it's very mind body. So, um, you know, I started doing yoga. I started, so a lot of life changing. Um, I was a vegetarian. I'm not anymore. Um, I had to go on like a low carb, you know, very, very much like meat and a lot of veggies, a little bit of meat, a lot of veggies, some, uh, some carbs, seeds, nuts, um, uh, a lot of stuff, not a lot of rice, not a lot of no beans. So very drastic life changes, new routine. Um, and as I was doing all that, I finally had the courage to pursue an interest of mine that I've had for a really long time, which is tarot. Um, I got interested in it in college like 20 years ago, um, but just never had the courage to take it up. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to do this. And I just fell in the deep end into it. I just jumped right in, you know, with cards and deck. And um, I watched so many YouTube videos. Um, I found Kellyanne Maddox, Ethany, Kelly from The Truth and Story, The Hermit's Cave. Um, those were like the first... Um, YouTube channels that I followed and then from there I found um, this whole tarot community um, and so I feel like in and I and I I stopped doing my herbal stuff I stopped making my products I stopped um, I had I was in herb school I had to drop out all of that was stopped um, and but I dove into tarot and I dove into it really in depth um, and so in a way I feel like 2018 is my depth year um, with tarot um, and I'm still doing it I'm still going strong with that um, but I want to also continue that in 2019 and I want to pick up my herbal stuff in a really in-depth way um, We'll see um, that the plan is to uh, the class we studied 60 herbs and my plan is with herbal part is to go through the class again. Um, I actually have a recording of it because over the last two classes um, so I can re-listen. Um, I'm going to go through the 60 herbs. We, we're making um, a material medica um, which is information on in-depth information on each herb um, and what it does in its actions so um, I would like to do that and also bring that here to the channel um, a little journey with me um, perhaps um, I have some videos up uh, called Adventures in Herb School um, so if you're interested in um, my experiences in class um, you can check those videos out um, I think I have three or four. Um, again, kind of unfinished, but um, and while I'm going still end up with tarot and herbs, um, it's also kind of be slightly a wide year for me because I haven't figured out what are my next steps. Like, what am I doing? Do I go to school? What do I go to school in? Where do I go to school? What? is my career? Am I going to pursue my business into a real business? Um, or am I going to just keep it as a hobby? There's a lot of questions that I have and I have to do a lot of exploring. So I'm kind of going to be doing like a death year slash wide year um, this year. But um, so I, but I really love the idea. Um, 
I have EDD, so it definitely can be difficult for me to concentrate on one thing at a time. Um, and um, yeah, we'll see. Um, so if you're interested, I would check out those videos. Um, and several other people did a video on depth theater. So um, just follow the link with the ta um, the hashtag link. Okay, bye.